You know, I feel like Max Payne needs to be in Rockstar's plans for a new game or remake. Even if it faded away for years now, Rockstar Games has so much power in linear games, including Manhunt and Max Payne 3, and I would love to see either a sequel or a complete reboot of the series. There is so much untouched potential in these slow motion and bullet time events, and they could definitely do something amazing in the next generation if they decide to make another one. One of the most spectacular things about the game itself is the inclusion of bullet time. Max Payne was one of the pioneers of this stylish action field feature, and it obviously masters this as well. The effect is so well done that it is hard to not immerse within the scene itself while holding your breath as all of it happens. <coughs> The feature is much more than just an action field layer of interactivity in the gameplay, as it gives Max some impressive reflexes. Max Payne 3's gunfights too are claustrophobic and tense. The impression of hot weather and not being able to cool off and get a clear breath makes them much more so. And smell after all is the most evocative sense, but getting to nail that in a video game is pretty hard. The two went hand in hand more than I care to admit. As you control Max through many clubs and destroyed buildings, or the different favelas of Brazil, is vest stained brown from perspiration, you can really smell the world of Max Payne 3. It's dirty, and it's not Max's usual, and he clearly doesn't belong here. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Max Payne 3 is ultimately supposed to be a tale of redemption, but Max goes to great pains to tell us how his every action or inaction makes the situation worse. He's just a random drunk guy causing chaos and killing anyone in his way, and you feel it throughout the whole story. The game was unfortunately a low seller shifting 4 million copies, a figure that just about covered development cost, mainly because of Rockstar Games' main project, GTA V, coming up less than a year after, and because fans couldn't care less of linear games at that time. The rise of open world was its reason. Despite having a dark tone throughout the game and having a bleak setting, this is not only what the game is about. The game is all about finesse, style and fast pacing. Because of how it's executed and how incredibly the setting of the game is directed, the pacing offered by the game is relentless. There is actually very little chances that we will see the troubled guy Max Payne in action again anytime soon. Not to mention that its owner Rockstar Games also focuses on another project, which is probably the sixth installment in their much more profitable Grand Theft Auto franchise. This is the reason this will also shorten the chances of the series back to its roots. 
Max Payne 4 is nothing but a desired rumor for now, and there is no confirmation that relates to its existence. Despite seeming an almost impossible return, the series might return as some sort of remake or complete remasters of the original, as it was heavily requested by the fans throughout the community, as we see large developers nowadays remaking their games. There are also turning out to be surprisingly well for the studios itself, so it could definitely be a win-win situation. They weren't far ahead. Once I opened the door, I'd actually have to come up with a plan. Let me know if you guys would like some sort of continuation or remake for Max Payne. Thanks to Jigglyboy for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for 99 cents only. It'll support me and the channel as a whole. Thanks for watching.